I've tried to learn uh, many programming languages, and I can get pretty far in a lot. I mean, you know, I've experimented with C and C++, even back in my Windows day with Visual Basic, and uh, and Python. I've gotten pretty thorough with Python, but I still cheat sometimes. Even with my PHP code, when I'm doing server-side scripts for websites, I cheat once I learn how to use the call system command option in that language. And pretty much every language has it. And basically what it does is it allows you just to call uh, a command from the system that the system already has, which in Linux and Unix is going to be your shell, which in many cases, many of my viewers know, bash. So this is kind of a cheat. And if you like me, once you learn it, you're going to start uh, slacking on learning Python and just call commands a lot. But I'm going to teach it to you anyway. Hopefully it doesn't send you down the wrong path of doing things, getting things to work fast, but not necessarily the best and proper way. Um, so let's start. Uh, I'm going to create a script and I'll call it my command.py. Now in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to import modules. Don't forget to set your environment up here at the top. Uh, and in this case, we're going to import OS. So this is allowing us to import the the uh, system, basically system commands. And also allows us to do other things with paths and stuff, but that's another tutorial. Um, and as you know, we can do things like in, in Bash, we can do print hello world from Python. If we save and quit out of that, make this script executable and run it, it prints out hello world from Python. Go back in here now, we, since we imported the OS, a module, we can also do this. We do os.system, whoops, and then in parentheses and quotation marks, we can say echo hello world from bash if that's your default environment and your quotations and your parentheses run your command again and you can see it used the echo command from bash to print out that and you can put anything in there we can come in here any system command that you can type from the command line like list whoops Like so, we do that, run it again, and it lists the files in the current folder. We can, well, we can cat out this file probably. Let's see how that works. We'll say cat my, or I forgot the name of this script, my command.py. So just as if I was from the command line, uh, to cat out my command like so if I run my Python script now and if I had typed it right someone should have said something while I was typing it aren't you guys paying attention anyway <laughs> I typed it way wrong there we go we got hello world from Python and then it ran the cat command and catted it out so if you wanted to cheat, if you're a Bash user, you're just a shell user, like many of my viewers are, you can cheat and in your Python script anytime as long as you import OS, you can run the system command, uh, OS system, and then the command like that, and run it, and you can put multiple of these inside your Python uh, script. Uh, and in Windows, I'm sure you can call stuff from your, your DOS-like environment this way. Um, problems reasons you really shouldn't do this one is every time you do that it's got to you know, like in this case it's loading the cat command it technically it's slower it's it's we're talking milliseconds but in a large script it could make a difference and also you're losing the compatibility that you have with python one of the great things about python is it go can go from from linux to to apple to windows and as long as you're using python script and as long as i mean there are some cases where it doesn't but 
Python should work the same on all those machines. Once you start calling system commands like this, well, cat might work in Linux and in Apple, but you go into the Windows world, your Python script now no longer works because you're calling a system command that doesn't exist in the, the Microsoft world. So if you're writing a script that is just for yourself or you know what machines it's gonna be used on, that's great. But if you're writing a script you want to be compatible with everybody, probably shouldn't go this route. The, the, it was just all depends on what you're doing. Really, if you're writing a good program, one of the top five things in the top five lists that I have of what makes a good program, one of them is compatibility, that you should be able to go from, from one operating system to another. Um, the, this, this, this hinders that. Um, but if you don't care and you're just writing it for yourself or for Linux users or Unix-like users, you know, go ahead and use it. I mean, it will slow down your script a little bit, but we're talking milliseconds isn't that big of a deal. But I thought I'd show you that little cheat to help some of you uh, get to your goals a little bit faster. But I suggest learning how to cat out files or display files on the screen using Python but, um, or any other command that you might be calling. But that's how you call system commands from the Python environment. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.